Hello class, good evening. Hello, hello, how's it going? Good evening, teacher. How are good you? evening, teacher. Hey, I'm doing really good. Thanks so much for asking. You ready for today's session? JC, Daniel? Yeah, yeah teacher, yes. I'm ready. Nice, I'm ready. Nice. nice to hear that. Okay, so welcome once again. We have, let's see, eight people connected, including myself. So thank you so much for being on time. It's such a um, nice experience to be connected here once again. And I'm gonna start checking the attendance. Okay, so thank you so much for those who have turned on your cameras. Appreciate that. And I also understand that sometimes we might have issues with that connectivity as well. Like now I'm having, uh, I mean, it's raining, but I think it's not affecting. I'm expecting that. So if by any chance you are not able to listen to me, please tell me, teacher, you're not being um, clear or let me know if you hear some interference, okay? So okay. um, let's start by checking the attendance first. Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Uh, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, it's Friday, by the way. <laughs> Friday night. I thought, night. I thought it was, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Tuesday, but it's Friday. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. And let's see, next one is Elsie. Elsie Guadalupe. No, Gabriela, Gabriela Alas, not yet connected. Next one, Harrison. Present teacher. How are you, Harrison? Fine teacher. At work? No, at home. At home, okay, okay, that's, yes. that's better. Good, Jose Miguel? No. Jose Rubén? No, okay. I don't know what happened to Ruben. Uh, JC is here. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Linda? Not yet. Uh, Maria Idalia? Maria? I'm here. Thank you so much, Maria Idalia. Next one is, let's see, Maria Julia. Mary Julie, as Rafa says, no? Okay, next one, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Uh, next one is Marvin Omar. No, okay, uh, Norma Carolina. Norma, not connected yet. Rafa. Present teacher. Oh, Norma is there. Thank you so much, yes. Norma. Uh, and Rafa, is Rafa here? No, right, he hasn't connected yet. Uh, Raquel? Not yet, okay. Ray? Takin? No, okay. Xiomara? No, okay. Judy? Judy, Judy, okay. So thank you so much guys for connecting. Maybe uh, we're just a few because of connectivity issues. Is it raining where you guys are? Is it raining or not? Not raining there? Raining okay. a lot here. Uh, okay, and you are in Santa Tecla, Rafa? Or where are you? Santa Elena. Okay. Santa Elena. Okay. In Comalapa, it's not raining. Comalapa is not raining. Norma, I think Norma is on the way back home. I can see her. Yes, in this raining. moment in so Sonsonate, much. no. Mm -hmm. in, I'm in Sonsonate. No. It's a, no. It's, no, okay. Here where I am is part of Sonsonate and it's like drizzling, like raining a little. But I think it's not every, like everywhere. In Huayua, it's not raining. And okay. No, not, right. not raining. Not raining. 
Ok, um, Marlene, Italia, Cristina, how's the weather like today? <laughs> how's the weather there? All good? Not Normal, not raining. Ok, good. So thank you so much for reporting. Guys, we are going to start the class from where we left yesterday. Ok, I want you to tell me what you remember from yesterday's class. What did we say? What did we practice? What did you review? Or is it, or is there anything that you learned? Anything new? Or it was just a review? Anybody open your mic, please, and talk to us. Maybe give us an example, you know. Um, we talk about uh, how, uh... How you, how much, and how many, uh, how to use the control and, and control nouns. All right. Uh, in the, um, yeah, only, <laughs> only <Okay>. I remember. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for sharing. And what did we study on the first page? What did we say about those features? Which one do you remember from those features, especially when it comes to purchasing or storing at workplace? If I have to ask you, uh, let's see, Cristina, what is uh, what uh, dimension? What, what is it? How can you describe that? What is that in your own words? How can you describe it or why can't you tell me? What is size? What is weight? What is price? Do you remember that? Try different features, features about okay. the products. Those are different features about the products. Okay, yes, that is correct. That is correct. So features, features are simply characteristics that make something different, right? Or, uh, or, or attributes, right? That something has, which makes, makes, um, makes it different from any other things. Like uh, when you get a phone, for example, you might pay attention to its features, right? The size, if the phone, it looks nice, the capacity, the software, the camera, and all those details, those are considered features. So talking about products, yesterday we made a list of features, right? And let's see, what is warranty? Anybody, what is warranty? What is it? How can you explain that in your own words? Welcome, Churi. Welcome, Jose. So what is warranty? What is that? It's a promise that a company uh, make. Exactly. It's a promise that a company makes, she says. And that is correct, right? That promise goes what? It says, I'm going to cover any damage, right? Maybe uh, problems or issues with your uh, product. That is a promise, right? Maybe one year or even two year uh, warranty, right? Sometimes you need to pay for extra or a special program that they say for warranty. Okay, so good. Thank you so much. What else do you remember from previous class? What else did we say? Any other uh, feature that you remember from previous class that you didn't know? Uh, no, I did. <laughs> Elsie, welcome, Elsie. Hola, buenas noches. Good night. Good, good evening. Decimos, Elsie, good evening, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Ok, um, estamos haciendo una lista, we are recalling, mm -hmm. estamos recordando the list of features that we studied yesterday. Teníamos uh, una lista de features. We had size, size, weight, price. What else? What else do we have? Do you remember that? We had eight features. Teníamos Diaz feature. I'm sorry, eight. That's eight. That's ocho. <laughs> ocho features. So what are those? Weight. 
Wait. Mm -hmm. What else? Price. Price. Okay. Since you guys have a lot of money, you can afford, you know, high prices, right? Right, Daniel? Yes. <laughs> what what is what is afford? Do you know that word? Have you heard can afford? Let me send it to. Have you heard this? So if I if I can if I let me make it negative. If I, if I can't afford something, it means that I can't what? What do you remember? It means that I cannot pay. I don't have the capacity to pay. So can't afford. So talking about prices, okay? So um, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. This is just vocabulary. But today we are going to study something different. But before we do that, I want to um, ask you to focus on this part. Let me, we're gonna uh, do this activity like together as a whole class. Look at this one. I know you're gonna see my screen in just a minute. Let's see? Okay, we're gonna work as a whole class to work or to solve this, um, let's see, activity. It says your turn, okay? So ask a partner what his or her company buys in create questionnaire, a questionnaire using how much and how many to know everything about the product. Okay, so let's see. Let's brainstorm ideas. Hagamos una lluvia de ideas, okay? What are those possible questions we can ask? Okay, what would you ask Daniel? What would you ask Harrison? What would you ask Idalia? What would you ask Marlene? So if you were working in pairs, what questions can you ask? Let's use the chat and start sending questions using how many and how much, please. Let's use the chat. We can take a look at the examples we have previously mentioned. We, yesterday we did six examples. So they must follow the same pattern. Tienen que seguir como el mismo patrón. How do we say, let's see, I'm going to wait for, for you to create one question. And I can help you, of course, if you, if you don't have any questions. Si tiene alguna pregunta de cómo formular la pregunta, valga la redundancia, please let me know. We start how many or how much, and then you continue. What's next after that? How many pupusas do you eat? Okay, I like that question, Christina. Yes, and it makes sense. And then now, can you think about one question using um, uh, information from your company? I like that one, Daniel. Actually, I was going to ask you that because I know you sometimes um, drive the forklift, right? I was gonna ask you that. So how many gallons of fuel do you do this need, okay? How many hours do you work? Okay, I like it. So what else? How many people were in the store? Ah, work with a K. How many people uh, work, work like K? How many... Uh, how many money do you have, Norma? What's missing there? What is wrong with that? What do we say with money, Norma? What $10. Do we... Now. <laughs> okay, you want to give me $5? Okay, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Send it like I, I, I have my wallet. I, I, I accept Bitcoins. But what's the <laughs> what's the problem there? Okay. What's the problem? Right. Sorry, sorry. 
Sorry, sorry. Come on. It's, it's all right, Daniel. Thank you so much. So what is the mistake on what Norma sent? How many money or what do we say? How much money? Exactly, exactly. So we say how much money do you have? Okay, how, how much money do you make? If you are in like... The, in the case of the Bitcoin, how, how, say, how we can say how much Bitcoin or how many Bitcoin? I like that question. I would say because Bitcoin's coins, it, it has a nest, that must be plural. If, and if it is plural, then we have to say, um, if you use the S, is how many? But if you don't, if you don't use the S, then it has to be how much, okay? Because Bitcoin is the name of this coin, of this currency. Actually, it's a currency, currency. Mm -hmm. Let me exactly. And then, but I hear people saying Bitcoins with an S. So if it is an S, that tells me that it's plural. Therefore, I'm allowed to use how many, okay? So if it, if it is plural. How many? But then if you use it as a, as a currency, como la moneda itself, it might only be how much. But then it, we have to see it in context. Pero si algo se puede pluralizar, if we can pluralize it, then it's how many? Because it's countable. Um, okay. Yes. How many bottles have one gallon? How many bottles? How many bottles does a gallon have? How many bottles does a gallon have? To use the auxiliary, how many groceries do you want? How many groceries groceries do you want? Okay, because it's like plural. You want to make it plural. Nice, but I don't know, but I don't see many examples. Ya veo que algunos me han mandado, pero algunos no me han mandado nada. Why is that? No quieren digitarles. You're, you're kind of like, mm, it's Friday and I got... How much milk do you have? Okay. How much milk? Good. Ask me a question. Ask somebody a question. Now let's think about personal things. Personal things. Not only about company questionnaire. Uh, let's ask something like, I don't know, maybe personal questions. If you would like to share, it's okay. So what would you ask your best friend? What would you ask your, um, I don't know, colleagues at work what would you ask uh, how many pairs of shoes do you have i like that one okay <laughs> <laughs> how many pairs of shoes do you have? how much italia how much does your car cost lo que quiero hacer referencia es a los, a la estructura how much Y luego de how much, podemos poner el auxiliar. Algunas veces se va a poner how much, uh, por ejemplo, how much, porque ya es el precio o a o la cantidad no contable, how much. In that case, how much does your, or does a car, does a car cost? So it, it, it is, I wrote the, sim, the symbol plus, se fue el, el signo más, pero no es no era la intención. But I want you to say, the, I want you to use the auxiliary. How much does a car cost? So that's the formula. How much money do you make? If I want to say it like directly, because after how much, we can either use a noun or we can use the auxiliary. For example, I can say how much, how much water, this is a noun, do you, do you drink? a day, for example, or per day. You can say, how much water do you drink per day? So in that case, I'm saying um, what? I'm using a noun right after the how much. How much water do you drink per day? Deme un ejemplo. Abran el micrófono, open your mic, y creemos uno con how much, y luego agregamos un sustantivo. How much, what? How much, or maybe how many, and then use a noun. How much do you sleep in the afternoon? I like that one, Jose. How much do you sleep in the afternoon? I like it because we understand it's referring to time, right? How much 
do you, or you can say how long, like how long when it refers to time, but then you can use how many, exactly, Elsie, I was going to say that, si son horas, we can say hours, how many hours do you sleep, right, how many hours do you sleep per night, good, I like it, so we have how many, how much, and now, and then the auxiliary, what about um, if we don't use a noun, for example, how much and then boom, we have the auxiliary or how many and then boom, we have the auxiliary. So how many, what? I think it's not that easy to find one structure without the noun, it's kind of complicated. But then can you find one? Can you think about one? How many, I think it's not that easy. Maybe with how much, yes, how much, um, it's easier to use the auxiliary right after that. Mm -hmm. Like the one Jose sent. But then, um, or do you have any questions about the structure, guys? Tienen alguna pregunta de la estructura? How much and how many? Or is it clear, confusing? How much do you eat? Mm, I see Narciso. But in that case, like I was saying, it is not easy to find one single example without using the noun, because in that case, it's gonna be how much fruit. It doesn't make sense. So it's how many fruits do you eat? So in that case, we need to say how many fruits do you eat? Right, so we need to make that correction there. How many fruits do you eat per day? How many, um, what? How many uh, slices of pizza do you eat, right? So I, as you can see, we need, we need to use the, the noun most of the time, okay? So um, what else can we say? Any questions? Alguna pregunta? Algo que quieran agregar? Anything that you would like to add, guys? No? Simple, simple stuff. Excuse me, could you uh, repeat uh, what you say um, about the plural and singular to, to use the, the count in and count? Mm -hmm. Non yes. Count. Okay, I said that if a noun can be pluralized, then it is countable. Si un nombre puede ser pluralizado, entonces es contable. Si no, no. That's the rule. If you can pluralize something, then it's, uh, then it's countable. For example, water. Can you, can you pluralize water? Podemos hacer plural um, water? Oh. It's not an option. Water is it's weird. It's really weird. So in that case, water is not countable because uh, we cannot pluralize it. If you can make something plural, then it's countable. So that's the rule. Maybe there, there might be some exception, but really, really like uh, one, one of a kind, not, like, not that frequent. But then the, the general form says, if you can pluralize something, then it must be countable because you can count. Okay, um, how much do you make monthly? How much money do you, you know, earned monthly? That's a question we don't want to answer sometimes uh, because it's too personal. I don't know if that makes sense for you, Idalia. I think it was you who was asking the question about the plural and singular. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, okay. it's clear. Okay. All right, good to hear that. So how much do... How much do is your car worth? Mm. I know you're referring to uh, el valor, right, Amarvin? But in this case, uh, we don't we don't use worth. Worth is in other uh, contexts, like for maybe something that vale la pena, um, but not exactly referring to price. So in this case, I would say, hmm, how much? Maybe how much does your car cost? Or um, yes, that would be the best one, the easiest one. How much does your car cost? And then you know you want to know the price, right? What's the price of the car? And 
Yes, or maybe, or I want to understand your question, Marvin. Maybe that can help you better. But then I would say, how much does your car cost as the, as the best one for this scenario? How much does your dress cost? Like that one that Elsie just sent. Yes. Why do we say does? Because your dress is it. That is something that we have to have clear. We do not say how much do your dress cost because the dress is it. Now, if I have uh, dresses in its plural, then I might wanna say how much do your dresses cost? Because it's more than one because it's do. How much time do you do you do exercise? Yes, Idalia, that's a good one. And it's a good one. Idalia, how much time do you do exercise per day? Never. Wow, <laughs> got you. You know what, I, 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 be, I think I told the group last, last month that when I didn't, um, let's say, uh, Recently, I've been like playing soccer a lot with my colleagues at school, but then before I do that, you know, I was kind of like stressed out. And when, but whenever you play soccer or you do exercise, exercise or you practice any sport, that helps a lot and it keeps you active. Therefore, Italia, as a tip, you, you should. But do I have some. a good, a good reason. What's because your... I don't have time. Oh, that's not a good reason. Come on, you have, I to, have live... to work a lot. Mm, do you have to work physically a lot, like make doing many things? No. But then uh, you have to live some time, as if, as if I am the doctor. No, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that we have to live, we have to prioritize and, you know, live some space to, to do that because it's necessary, okay? Maybe, maybe, right? Maybe you can, like, set priorities and then you say, okay, this time for, for me to work out, okay? You know, just a uh, uh, very short uh, parenthesis okay but then that's something personal guys uh, we need to move on okay and today we are going to work on uh well we have our next uh, our first actually conversation okay and this topic i know that for most of you is easy but maybe for some of you might be new i don't know but then I want you to tell me or tell your classmate what you know about have to and has to. Look at this one. These are in letters in bold or highlighted. Have to and has to. When do we use has to? When do we use have to? And in which scenarios? Anybody, please open your mic and talk. We use um, have to for um we you plural plural the um the person in plural i don't know uh, mm -hmm. we they you and we use has to for he she it mm -hmm. that is correct grammatically speaking that is correct right that would be the correct distribution for subjects right and then Idalia, if it is JC and Harrison, what do we use? Have to or has to? Have to. Have to, okay, good. And that will be grammatically speaking, right? Like the structure. And then what about scenarios? Where do we use it? What is the function? What For does obligation. it mean? Obligations, okay. Yes, it has to do with that. I like it. So let's go ahead and check and read this uh, word, um, objective, giving instructions about how some products have to be handled and stored, okay? So for example, if, if you by any chance receive something new at work, then somebody might come and tell you how to handle it. And 
he or she might not be so kind and he might be using this structure. You have to pay attention. You have to what keep it clean. You have to um, know how to use it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so sometimes to give instructions, we need to use have to. Like kind of like an order, kind of like uh, giving you a command then I want you to please give me one uh, instruction, guys. Anything that comes to your mind, whatever you want to say, it's fine. Open your mic and give me one instruction. Let's see. We have to um, participate at class. I love that one. <laughs> yeah. What else? The teacher has to speak less. I know that. <laughs> okay. I have, I have to send the report. Okay. Okay. And what about this environment in Zoom? You have to buy raw material. Okay. You have to buy raw material. Okay. What else? I want to listen to more. We have to have the, the camera turn on. Okay, great ideas. What else? We have to... We have to pay attention. Oh. Okay, we have to pay attention, Wait. yes. Yes, Marlene is here. <laughs> we have to pay, we have to be on yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we have to be on time. <laughs> we have to do homework. We have to be happy. We have to smile. Okay, what else? You see, that's what I'm talking about. So look at this question. Marlene, can you help us, please? Can you read this question right here? Or yep. maybe it's not a question, just a statement. <laughs> uh, describe where the different products your work, workplace works with our stored. Mm, stored, stored, stored. Yeah, so um, where does your company store the products? What do you see or if you are in charge of that, where? So the question is where do that, uh, let's say, do your, or does your company, I'm sorry, keep or store the products anybody my company we have uh where uh, okay uh, warehouse warehouse that's common right yes that is the most common um let's see most of the companies have a warehouse right to keep everything right okay and if they don't have they use the office to keep everything <laughs> Okay, but yeah, they have a place. Okay, let's do something. I'm gonna read this. Maybe you're gonna help me instead of me. I want to see how you read it. Then I'm gonna go over some pronunciation. So I need two volunteers to be, um, we have Aaron and Sam, right? So who wants to do it? Me. Okay, thank you so much. Go ahead. Marlene, right? Cool. Choose the next yeah. person. You choose the next mm. person. <laughs> okay. Um, Daniel. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are Aaron or Sam? Mm, Aaron. Okay. okay. Teacher, okay. please. Um, please down. Um, the action, the action, Marlene, is a scroll up or a scroll down? Oh. Uh -huh. like this mm -hmm. okay como a scroll like uh scroll. si lo está moviendo con un con un mouse is scroll down uh, scroll scroll, uh, up. scroll down uh, scroll uh, up okay mm -hmm. thanks okay the new mater materials just arrive in the morning tell max that he has to store everything 
Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there, I, there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the field, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, thank you so much. What about now? You, then you'll be an Aaron, and then we have uh, Marlene B and Sam. Let's switch role, please. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the fill? They have to use the lift. That us and tell the secretary first. She's going to say, say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, I like it. Thank you so much, guys. In general, great pronunciation, okay? Just a little few observations, but in general, it's really good. Hey, Daniel, when you were reading about the forklift, I remember, because yes. I know the lift is actually, yes. it has to do with that. Okay, it's similar, it's similar to forklift. Yeah, actually, that's what it is because uh, they're trying okay. to store, you know, the boxes and the lift is the forklift is one of those, you know, um, cars okay. or equipment. Yes. Okay. okay. I wanted to say, okay. Daniel and, and Marlene, about this word, the past of the verb arrive. What do we say here? Do we say arrived with D or we say arrived con? Con T, with the T sound. What do we say? ¿Se recuerdan de eso, la clase del, del módulo 3? Uh, right with D, arrive. Arrived, okay. Bien, bien, good. Yes, because we don't say arrived, we say arrived. We use the D sound because the last sound is the letter V as in uh, Victor. We say arrived. Good, thank you so much. We don't say arrived, we say arrived with this sound what else i wanted to say let's see um oh we can say ivan because it, just to maintain you know the the accent ivan or ivan, ivan. it's a pro proper okay. noun proper nouns okay and then the lift and how do we pronounce this mm -hmm. word right here the one i'm circling right now first the, first exactly first yeah. We do first. not say fierce, we say first. It's like it's like a first. sound within between the I and the E. First, first. Oh. It's not fierce, it's not fierce, it's first. Exactly. Oh. So thank you so much, guys, for um I want to listen to everybody, but this is not an option. So because we don't have much time left, but I want you to practice, that's for sure, and it's necessary. So we have uh, 14 participants. I'm gonna create uh, four, let's see, seven pairs and practice as much as you can. Switch roles, uh, practice, practice over and over this conversation, okay? And then I'm gonna have two other volunteers to, to share it. If you feel like this is uh, so simple, guys, um, but I want you to keep practicing and if it's possible, start adding more information. I'm gonna give you maybe three minutes for you to practice. Here we go. As of now, only practicing, okay? Practicing and practicing. So let's see. We are, uh, okay, yes, here we go. Seven groups. Practice.
where does he have to the box the boxes he and Ivan he have to store the boxes oh no see sí. no no he Estor and them. Ivan have to yes. store them in the warehouse okay but there are many boxes can they use the life They have to use the life, but uh, in the tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Mas and Ivan what they have to do. Practicam, seguimos. Empiezo otra vez. Hola. Seguimos. Mm, va. Empiezo otra vez yo. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. The new material was arrived in the morning. The map that he has to store I was able to listen to some of you and I, I'm so glad that you were practicing even though it's something really simple, but you were practicing. That is the idea, guys, that you take advantage of the time, okay? Even though you might say, well, this is too simple stuff to do, but you keep practicing, okay? That's, that's good. Thank you so much for doing so. Okay, um, I wanted to ask you about the homework. How was it? Did you guys complete the homework already? Ya completaron la tarea del first activity? Yes? Yep. Uh, okay. With your reaction. With your reactions, please uh, show me one thumbs up if you did it already. Let's see. One. Cristina le hace así, ve. Thumbs down. Cristina, come on. Okay, so uh, Jose, you haven't done it. Narciso, you haven't done it. No lo han hecho todavía. No, teacher. Okay. No, no. The homework teacher. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, don't leave it for you know the end of the week. We have said every single day you need to do it. Let me change it. You have to do it, okay? Let me, because that will be you know uh, the habits we want to create, right? Daily, daily. Teacher. Yes. The middle. The midterm. Uh huh. The midterm. <laughs> is in the middle of the week yeah in the middle of the week yes okay. because we started on the uh, yes. like on thursday <laughs> that is why we started on thursday that's why we're gonna do it on the middle of the week yes and i, I think the um, the date it's been given actually we talked about this yesterday right I don't know if you remember. I don't remember exactly when what the day is, but it's been given. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to remind you about the midterm so you can uh, anticipate that, okay? But I will remind you about that. Okay, and yesterday, by the way, um, Elsie stayed a little bit after the class since Narciso couldn't make it, but Elsie stayed at least some time. So remember that we, we need to, um, what? Take advantage of that time. It's 
it's only 10 minutes, it's not much in the entire course, you know, like in the, the whole course. So I keep advantage of that as well. Okay, so let's go over the, let's see, let's go over the next activity. It's, this is attached to what we just did. And we have some questions, guys. And let's go ahead and check them, please. We have here, this is based on the conversation. We have Max and Ivan have to or has to. What do we say here? Let me choose one person. Christina, number one, what's the, what's the answer? I think, uh, mm -hmm. um, Ivan has to start bugs. Okay, so you're saying that the answer is the second one. If we have to, if we can give a number, so this is one, and the other is this is two. What's the answer? I think have two. One or two. She says two. Oh, you just you, you said two. Okay, why is it two, Christina? Um, when the, the 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 person is Max, I I hear use the the they when you they have to. Okay, good. Thank you so much. You said that we, um, since we have Max and Ivan, we use they, right? Therefore, we use have to. This is what you said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much. So we say Max and Ivan have to have to store boxes. Okay. And what about, uh, let's see. Next one, what do we say? Um, let's see, Narciso, what's the answer for, for the next one? Number one. Number, uh, number two, let's see. Number two. Uh-huh, uh, Aaron? I don't, I don't, don't have two. Mm -hmm. I'll restore the boxes. So how do we pronounce this one? How do we pronounce this word? Doesn't. Doesn't. Good. Doesn't. doesn't. Marlene, do you agree with Narciso? That is, doesn't have to? No. Mm, Aaron has to help store the boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. Jose, Jose, do you agree that is has to or doesn't have to? Um, has to. Has to. Narciso, let's make the correction. Okay, so uh, has to. And then this is, I, I don't agree with, with this statement because it's like it's giving us here one question mark, which shouldn't be there because this is not a question. But then just, just a typo. Let's see, next one, number three. Let's listen to, um, let's see, Daniel, help us, please. Zam. Sam doesn't have to help. Sam no, doesn't? Doesn't how to help. Number one. Doesn't have, right? No has to. This is actually have, okay? And the last one, what is the last one? Let's see, a volunteer? Who wants to do it? Maybe Idalia, <laughs> volunteer. Okay, and um, the secretary has to say that they can use the lift. Exactly. The secretary has to say that they can use the lift, okay? Yes, actually that would be the, the correct answers, guys. And then I still have one doubt here. I want to make one, I want to double check something um, because with number two, let's see. Yeah. Let me check the number two again because I, I, I still have my doubts. Sure, I have a question. 
Yes, go ahead, please. What's the question? Um, you have? Number two con number three son similar. Yes, how to uh -huh. because that same uh, if the uh, when, well, okay. in Spanish, when we use the das, uh, ya sea positive or negative, va el, en su forma original. How? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. The auxiliar makes you know the work actually because if we use the auxiliar, the base form of the verb must be kept. Must be kept. Okay. But uh, my point is not that. My point is that I want to make, I want to, because remember that these statements are based on the previous conversation. Okay, let me share the screen. One second. But then uh, if your question is, JC, what do we use after the auxiliary is the base form. It doesn't change, that's for sure. So after doesn't, we say the base form all the time. Regardless if it is, sin importar si es, uh, si es un, um, uh, si es la, la tercera persona, sin importar, no, si es doesn't, luego siempre va a ir el, el verbo en su forma base, base form, that's for sure. It, was that your question or did I misunderstand? Oh, it's hard. Let me, no, 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 but the, let me, let me uh, explain. No, what I'm saying is the following. I'm just checking on the meaning, okay? Because these two ones right here, guys, are I mean, I can say Aaron doesn't have to help store uh, the boxes. And I can also say Aaron has to help. But then uh, let's go ahead and check the conversation and let's see which one is correct because both are grammatically correct. But then based on the conversation, what is the correct one? Okay, does it make sense? So what is the correct one? Let, let me, let's check. Um, so Aaron, has to help or doesn't have to help? Let's let's check it. Because I, I after Narciso uh, says, Narciso says that he doesn't. And I was like, oh, so let's check it. Let's check the conversation. Can you see the conversation right here? Yes? Yeah. Let's see, Aaron. Hmm. That was my, he, he and Ivan have to sort it in the warehouse. So Aaron doesn't have to help. Yeah, Aaron no le va a ayudar. O sea, basada uh -huh. en la conversación, a Aaron no les, no les ayudaría. Uh -huh. I'm just double checking because uh, Narciso dijo que no le tenía que ayudar y me entró esa curiosidad. So okay, I'm checking the, 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 the you know, conversation. the conversation. No soy chequeando la gramática. La gramática estamos claro que el auxiliar, el verbo, lo acepta de forma base. No importa si es en sí um, una tercera persona. ¿verdad? El auxiliar, base form after that. Ahora Narciso, quiero que nos explique porque la verdad me dejó la espinita ahí porque dijo Dasen y dijo, ajá. Me ha pasado en la conversación. Sí, sí lo, lo que pasa es de que este, en el cuestionario dice, dice Sam, Sam Dasen does, Dasen does had to tell in the office. It's correct. Uh -huh. That is number two. Aaron, because you said Aaron Dasen doesn't have to help store the boxes. That's what I'm trying to uh, understand here. He says he and, well, says, let because, me go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. the new because, because the, the guys of their store, the boxes in the warehouse are Max and, and Ivan, and Ivan. Ivan, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, our own doesn't have, doesn't have. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So I want to congratulate Narciso because yeah, Narciso helped us rethink about this. And yeah, Narciso, you were correct because, okay. like Daniel's explanation, uh, he doesn't have to. Lo que van a ayudarnos son ellos. Therefore, and, and, and the number three is Sam doesn't have to. Yeah. And Sam, Sam tampoco yeah. no le va a ayudar. Si me van a ayudar a <laughs> Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Teacher, teacher. Yes. That go ahead. was the that was the confusion. 
eh, eh, como, como Narciso estaba bien, yo he pensado lo mismo que, que Marlene, que nos estamos refiriendo a la gramática. Mm. Porque, ajá, como el de Narciso estaba bien, uh -huh. es lo que decía la conversación, pero eso fue la confusión. Uh -huh. yeah. I, en realidad ese fue el punto. Yo creo que el, eh, la instrucción no fue tan clara. Y en, en sí lo que vamos a, vamos a chequear aquí, hay dos cosas. En primer lugar... Eh, que la gramática esté bien, ¿verdad? En el caso de la número dos, la gramática está bien. Pero el número tres, y ahí no sería más fácil identificar porque hay un error en la gramática. Creo que también fue ese punto que tenemos has to y no se puede has to, ¿verdad? Eso como que era el punto de que creo que JC también trajo, ¿verdad? Que después del dasen no vamos a usar un, un, un verbo en tercera persona. Eso no es posible, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, le voy a compartir, permítanme, le voy a digitar las respuestas, guys, para que la manera de, let me see. Ok. Let's see. No sé si uh, surgen más preguntas de esto, or maybe comments about this, guys. No. Vaya, ya, ya, ya. Ahí están. Ok. Um, good. So, Max and Ivan have to store boxes. Aaron doesn't have to. Thank you, Narciso, once again. And Sam doesn't have to help. And the secretary has to say that they can use the leaf or the forklift in this case. Ok. That would, that would be like the ones that we needed to choose. That would be the right, uh, the right answers for this. Ok. So, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on on this and uh, let's see. Now, let's focus on the next page. And here we have exactly the affirmative and the negative uh, statement and how they work. And uh, I want to share the screen. Give me a second, please. We have this, that affirmative, have to, have to, have to, or has to. But then when it comes to negative, we need to use the auxiliar. Esto es algo que en su momento, we have already studied. However, it's okay to go over this again. Don't have to, have to, what? How do we make negative? If it is not third person, then we use don't because that's going to be our auxiliar, right? So don't have to, don't have to, doesn't have to. There's a, one mistake here. I, I don't know what's going on with this here. <laughs> this, I have to report it. I have to report it to, to whoever did this, okay? I don't want to look at this one. ¿Ya vieron esto? Vaya. Vamos ahorita, vamos a hacer un reporte. Lo vamos a, a mandar, le vamos a decir, change it. Nos ah, están confundiendo. Please. <laughs> change it. Uh, if si, si, si su, su chelito, okay? Please erase it. No, this is not possible. Así que uh, lo tienen printed, vamos y bórrenlo, okay? Doesn't have to, doesn't have to, doesn't have to. Never say doesn't has to. Never, ever, never, ever, okay? Eh, se voy a cambiar esta, esta, esta página ahorita y le voy a poner, no, 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 don't use this. This is something prohibited. Está prohibited. Todo vamos a prohibirlo. Ok, um, solo quiero estar seguro con esto y que no vaya a confundir esta parte. First, doesn't, ya ahí sí lo decía, no me permite el verbo en tercera persona. Always go base form. ¿Estamos claros con eso, guys? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Vaya. Solo Marlene dijo yes. Los demás. Let me. Let... Yes, <laughs> yes. 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 Ok. Claro, ok. Yes. Vaya. Yes. Estamos claro que dasen y luego have. ¿Verdad? No va nadie va a decir después. Yo en, el, en, el, en, las, en las evaluaciones van a elegir has to. Que bueno. Bueno, pues este, este, that's gonna be incorrect. I don't want you to make that mistake, simple mistake, okay? So let's move on. Um, but so I'm like more confident that this is clear. I want you to send me at least two sentences in negative using have to, okay? Think about whatever you want to, but use doesn't in negative, okay? What comes to your mind? 
type or open your mic. You don't want to type, fine. Open your mic and speak. I don't have pictures in my workplace. I don't have what? Well, I'm I, sorry. I, I don't. I don't have case pictures in my workplace. I don't have to take pictures in. Okay, I don't have to take pictures. No, Sandra doesn't have to work on weekends. Great. Okay. He he doesn't have a car. He, uh, 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 something is missing there. Something is missing there. Ah, oh, no he chequeado la tienda, para que la, la emoción de que this is all confused. <laughs> eh, JC, JC, si decimos he doesn't have a car, that is correct, pero usemos el have to, acordémonos que el have to, it is a structure that um, <laughs> describes that uh, what, explains that conveys a meaning of obligation order, stuff like that. Entonces, while I'm checking the, the attendance, go ahead and write more examples, please. With doesn't, that's the point, doesn't. Okay, let's see. Number one on the list, uh, this is Angel Narciso. I'm here. Sure. Thank you so much, Narciso. Cristina? Cristina, not here. Christina. I saw Cristina. Well, she's not here. Uh, Daniel? I'm here, Peter. Present here. Cristina, you are. Were you hey, there? La oración. Uh, <laughs> the, I, I know for sure that ladies are multitasking. That's what I have heard. Or not. Aren't you multitasking? Okay. They say the men are not multitasking, that women are, but then you know, women are, but then there's another topic. So no problem. Thank you so much for confirming, Christina. Elsie. Present. Thank you so much, Elsie. Okay. Gra Gra Graciela. Gabriela. Gabriela. No. Herson. Present. Thank you so much, Herson. Jose Miguel. Present. Thank you, Jose. Jose Ruben. No, JC. I'm here. Thank you, Linda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Linda. Maria Idalia. Present. Thank you so much, Maria Julia. No. Okay, uh, Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marlene. What happened? Are you sad? <laughs> no. Yes. Come on. Uh, next one, Marvin. No, I barely hear you, but I heard it. Uh, Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you, Norma. Rafa. Rafa is not here. Oh, Rafa is yes, yes, I'm here in my comment, always. <laughs> Come on, Rafa, I haven't heard you. You've been like quiet. I don't know why you don't want to say anything. Is everything okay? Everything okay. Okay, glad to hear that. Raquel? No. Ray? No. Xiomara? No. And Judy? Judy, Judy, Judy? Okay, thank Present. you, Judy. Thank you so much, Judy. Okay, so now we can go back to the topic. So we have, let's see, I only have one example. I'm gonna give you one or two more minutes. I want to read your examples. I have Linda's, Sandra doesn't have to work on weekends, and I also have Idalia's. You, mm, that one Idalia has a mistake. We need to double check that one. You doesn't have to drink of... Mm, if you drive. Mm -hmm, but, Very correct. Hmm, what's the mistake there, Idalia? Yeah. What's the mistake, Idalia? 
if we make the correction, if we say F was a mistake. Mm. You don't how? Exactly. Yes, how? I know I know you know this, Idalia. It's just a matter yeah. of you don't. We don't say she you doesn't. <laughs> yes. You don't. you don't have to drink if you drive. But I won't need to specify what. Because you can still drink water, juice. Maybe. Drink alcohol. Drink oh, alcohol. Okay. It doesn't have to drink beer. Uh, I, beer or alcohol. <laughs> no, come on. Beers are just awesome. What? Look at Marlene. I'm right. just kidding. What? Don't, don't, right. don't, it's Friday. Come on. It's Friday. Okay, yes. uh, don't try. Don't try. Don't, don't try. Okay, don't try. Yeah, I, I will take that, you know, that advice. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, so what else? Use doesn't, use don't, please, and give me more examples. I want to make sure at least two each. I'm not going to move on if you don't send me those examples. Please, at least two examples each. She doesn't have to wake up early. <laughs> No. Marlene doesn't have to wake up early. Okay. I know you want to talk about yourself. What else? What else? Elsie, any example? My my mom doesn't have to cook dinner. Okay, yes, it's a good one. My mom doesn't have to cook dinner because I already ordered food for delivery. She has to work hard if she wants a promotion. That's a good one. How can we make that negative, Idalia? So we can use auxiliar. She hasn't. Mm, no, necessarily. She. You don't have to sleep in class. <laughs> yeah, yes. Sí. Yeah, es, yeah. Es, como digo, él me robó mi idea. Uh, he sí. stole my idea. He stole, he stole my idea. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Ajá, alguien tiene que, a, tú que tienes la cámara apagada. Tú, no, yo sé que alguien, alguien me reportó problema de cámara, yo sé quién es. Uh, she doesn't have to speak. She doesn't have to speak, ok. Entonces vamos a retomar el, el ejemplo de María y Dalia. Yo escuché que dijo hasn't. Y no vayamos a confundir, guys, con el hasn't, porque el negativo del, del, el, del have to es don't have to or doesn't have to, pero no hasn't. ¿Por qué no hasn't? A ver, alguien que haya más o menos eh, o tenga algún conocimiento de cuándo usamos hasn't. Es el verbo más del negativo. Oh. Ajá, lo utilice más no con auxiliar, no como, ajá, no con el. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sort of like that. But then it hasn't has a different purpose, has a different meaning. Hasn't is used in another tense. Se utiliza en otro, te en otro tiempo gramatical. Hasn't, guys, ¿alguien sabe? ¿Cuándo eh, lo utilizamos? Pas pas mm, no. 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 Voy a mencionar esto. Is Ajá. Voy a mencionar eso, no para confundir, solo para aclarar que Hansen no entra en este contexto. Hansen se utiliza cuando vamos a hablar en presente perfecto. Si alguien ya lo ha escuchado, pues ahí vamos a utilizarlo. Hansen, y como dijo Marlene, después de Hansen, utilizamos un verbo en past participle. Por ejemplo, yo no he, yo no he comido. I, I haven't uh, eaten. 
Ella no ha comido, she hasn't eaten. Pero ese término, ese tiempo, ese tense, es, es conocido como, ya lo vamos a llegar a estudiar, es conocido como present perfect. Entonces no estamos estudiando el present perfect, guys. Así que el, el hasn't no vamos a utilizarlo ahorita. Entonces el present perfect sí utiliza hasn't and haven't. Pero en este escenario vamos a utilizar don't have or doesn't have, okay? That would be the negative. Is, is, that, is that all right, Idalia? Does it make sense? Yeah. Yes, okay, give me an example, please. Give me an example. Think about an example. Voy a leer the ones that I have here. Carla has to sleep a lot. Andy and I don't have to cook together, yes. What about doesn't, uh, Elsie? Can you think about one example with doesn't? Judy, I haven't read anything from you. Miren, acabo de utilizar el, el presente que le estoy diciendo. I haven't read anything from you. No he leído nada de usted. Ese es presente perfecto. I haven't read anything from you. From you. No he leído nada de usted. I haven't read it. Ahí sí lo utilizamos. Ok. Yuri, ¿se entiende lo que estamos hablando? ¿O, o es esto? Es a, is a new topic. Eh, la verdad me está acosando bastante. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Vaya, no hay problema. Bueno, no se preocupe, de hecho, pues aquí todos los compañeros tenemos la intención de, de ayudarnos unos con otros y, le, y la idea es que quede claro esto. Primero de todo, el have to lo utilizamos con los subjects I, you, we, they, así. El has to lo utilizamos con los subjects He, she, it, like that. Sí, eso es de eso es de ley. Cuando no usamos un pronombre, podemos utilizar un nombre. Significa de que para decir we tendría que ser Rafael, Gerson y me incluyo y yo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si fuese así, diría have siempre. Si un she podría ser Cristina, podría ser Linda, un she, un he podría también ser Marvin, podría ser Narciso, así, un he. Entonces la regla dice que de, la regla es usamos el subject, el sujeto, cualquiera de esos, ya sea un pronombre o un nombre, más el have to o has to, así, has to. Luego, después de eso, usamos un verbo. El verbo en su forma base. Days form. Así. Cuando hablo de verbo en su forma base, es que no se modifica. ¿Verdad? No se modifica. Se pone tal cual. Más un complemento. Un complemento. Complemento. Esa es para hablar de una, de una afirmación. Por ejemplo, uh, I have to... Um, prepare classes. ¿verdad? She has to go to school. Siempre esa estructura. El detalle, voy a mandar un ejemplo. Uh, she, porque she uso has. She has to, um, she has to cook dinner. Ella tiene que cocinar cena. Así. Si es you, you have to play well. Tienes que jugar bien. You have to play well. Ahora, ¿cómo hacemos una negación? Vamos a usar el doesn't, doesn't have to. O podemos usar el don't have to. Así. Si usamos doesn't es para tercera persona, he, she, it. Y si usamos don't es para los demás subjects que se quedan en, eh, sobrando. Así funciona esto. Más o menos. Hay que copiar eso y hay que crear la, la, los ejemplos. Elsie, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Estás bien? Okay? Estoy tomando los ejemplos que usted está poniendo. Uh -huh. Vaya. Gracias. 
me, me gustaría pedir esto, guys, no para, no para este, incomodar a nadie, solo quiero nada más que ellas me, me han comentado, ¿verdad? El interés que quieren de aprender y se han unido al grupo y no sé si está bien pues mencionarlo, pero ellas se sienten un poquito de ventaja porque no, han, no tuvieron la... Cuenten ustedes si quieren, yo la verdad que no, no quisiera hablar de más. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, yo estaba con, con Elsie y con Yuri y a nosotros nos saltaron del, del módulo 2 al módulo 4 porque no abrieron el trébol. Entonces, no sé si, por lo menos en mi caso, eh, no sé si por lo menos la gramática podía darnos, podría darnos algo en español para poder captar la idea y de ahí, pues, normal como está en inglés. Vaya, sí, Siento que en mi caso sí me pudiera ayudar bastante. Ok, la verdad que... Teacher, o tal vez compartir el, el libro del módulo anterior para que puedan... Sí, sería genial. Lo podemos compartir en el grupo. Este, yo, yo creo que sí, no leo ningún problema. La verdad no leo ningún o, problema. O si hay problema en el grupo, puede ser individual. O sea, más que todo fue un repaso del nivel 2, como más explicado. Sí, porque es que yo en el caso, yo solo recibí, perdón, solo recibí el módulo, o sea, del módulo 2 al 4, entonces el 1 y el 3 yo no lo, no lo tengo, entonces es como, eh, no igual, sé el... esa información que estuviera viendo anteriormente. O sea, que solo he visto los 3 el... entre el módulo 2. Los 3 estuvieron así. Uh -huh. Sí, Solamente... correcto. Solamente han visto un módulo, entonces, el 2. Uh -huh. El 1 no lo vieron, ni el 3. Solo no. hemos visto el 2, no vimos el 1, no, y luego nos pusieron en el 2, y ahorita nos saltaron al 4. Van de 2 en 2. Luego van a ir. Luego van a ir. 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 Uy, bien, ¿no? es van cierto. Después de que iban para el 6 de un solo. Okay. Pero ni es cierto, me imagino. Bueno, no, envíen, ese, ese eh, es el último módulo. Envíen, envíen mensaje al WhatsApp. Eh, del grupo, yo soy Fulana de Tal y le podemos compartir sin problema en, 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 en ¿cómo se llama? Los, los libros anteriores. Los libros, exacto. Sí, eso no es problema. Yo pienso que por acabar, como Ajá, dice porque... Marlene, por, por medio del, del, del WhatsApp personal, para que no te. Bueno, que ya nos están, ya nos están escuchando aquí, ya está quedando grabado, <risa> pero igual. <¿verdad? risa> Todos somos adultos, es así. tenemos responsabilidades. Ok, el ticker, edite el video del ticker. <risa> no, 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 es ok, a mí nada, I'm on fine with this. Estoy totalmente... Yo se los puedo compartir si quieren. Podemos compartir. Por favor. Cierto, bueno. Gracias, sí. Marta. Okay. Gracias, gracias, Daniel. Gracias, sí, compañero. Okay. Gracias. Vaya, no, y gracias por la confianza también, chicos, porque no, de repente salió y pues ya eso también nos permite, si no, de repente ya no aparecen ustedes, vaya, ¿qué les pasó? Sí, porque ayer me sentía súper frustrada, la verdad que todos hablando inglés y era como que yo no sé qué decía. Yo ahora fui mi primera Entonces, clase sí, y, sí, y yo como... estaba pensando en cambiarme. Un poco vaya, entonces no, no, no. Este, vamos a... Vamos a este, Vamos a compartir material y lo que sea posible. La verdad es que eso es un grupo bastante, este, yo quiero decir, o sea, bien unido, bien, no, no, bien unido. Todos están con ganas de echarle ganas y por eso que han venido a un grupo donde les van a ayudar. Así que todos pueden acercarse y preguntarle. En ese momento la tecnología nos une y ellos les van a ayudar. Uh, I don't doubt. Y el WhatsApp, el grupo de WhatsApp, casi no lo usamos para preguntar, fíjense, pero debería hacerse para eso también. Así que cualquier cosa ahí puede salir también. Ok. Well, yo, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, entonces tienen que unirse. Ahí, ahí. te mandaron el enlace, Miguel. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. En el que te. Ya cayó el okay. manual ahí. <ríe> ok. Thank you, Herson. Ahí está el manual en el, en, el, en, el, en el grupo. Hay que dejarle tiempo también. Tenemos que dejarle tiempo. Para de, que... hecho, de hecho, eh, teacher, el día de ayer parece que Julie pidió que se le apoyara con el manual. Yo se lo envié a Julie. No sé si es parte del grupo. No la veo. Julie. 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 No sé si 
Ajá, Yuri, sí, 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 de hecho sí. sí. Pero, ah, ok, entonces el manual número 3, ahí está ya la Unto Gerson, lo pueden descargar. Hay que dejarle un par de minutos también para revisarlo. Y, chef, Ajá. y les puedo mandar el listado de los verbos que les mandé en el módulo pasado. Sí, también, of course, of course. Vaya, porque como vimos bueno, lo de... Sí, puede bueno. compartir. That's good. Okay. You, you can share it. Um, it's having the list of verbs. It's great because that would be the base. So the more verbs you know, the better. Entre más verbos saben, mejor. Because that's like the, I would say, one of the main parts of speech. El, una de las partes más importantes del speech, de, la, de, las, de las ideas. Así que, um, algunos que me pidieron un listado, se los compartí también. Yo tenía uno por ahí. Entonces, verdad, así cada quien puede, incluso hay un montón de, de, de opciones para poder, este verificar o tener esa lista de verbos, hay un montón de aplicaciones también guys, que ustedes pueden descargar y eso le puede facilitar también verdad tienen el acceso a la plataforma y es bien interactivo para estar practicando, les, no les permite solo un intento, les permite varios intentos también, eso es una bondad que tiene la plataforma con la que trabajamos um, we're going to do this activity vamos a hacer esta actividad rápido y le voy a dar tiempo para que piensen uh, what do you see on the screen at this moment what do you see What do you see on the screen? Guys? Me quedé frisado. What do you see oh. on the screen? Paper. Papers? Okay. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? Juanico. <laughs> okay. What else do you see? Is that paper or fabrics? Is I thought it was fabric, like telas. But yeah, it can be paper. Okay, what else do you see? Colors. Colors, okay, I like that one. Okay, so what about if you choose one color from these and uh, you tell us why you choose it? Choose one, the one you like the most and tell us what's the reason you choose it. Okay, I don't want to say anything more, but just, you know, to talk, to share about, you know, something. Anybody? Hey, blue. Why, blue. why blue? Why blue? Because I remember the sky. I like that idea. That's what I'm talking about. The blue because I remember the sky. Anybody else? Green because only uh, is my favorite color. Because it's your favorite color. Green because it's your favorite color. What else? Well, because I remember the movie Lady and Red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's my nice movie. It's my yeah. nice movie. Yeah. We always say this. Yeah. Right. What else? Anybody else? Color white. Why white? Um, because it's clean. Because it's clean, okay? Okay, what else? I want to hear everybody, just, you know, to express your ideas in English. What else? You can still use the same colors, the one that were already used, but maybe it's it means something different for you. A lo mejor ese color significa algo diferente para usted. Like, for example, green, I think uh, Marlene says that is her favorite color. For I love green because for me, it represents the nature. When I'm, you know, on the way work, um, I usually go uh, very early. I see all the trees and the nature. I can breathe fresh air. So the green color is for me, you know, one you of the think, best. You, you stole my idea. <laughs> yeah, that's no, why I, I didn't want to okay, say anything, okay. believe me. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, in my case, teacher light blue, since I was little, I like it. 
since you were little you liked a light blue yeah it's a very fancy color okay and what a let's close this activity because this is just a parenthesis on the in the, on the class uh to you know to uh speak or to say something and if you have to choose one color uh, that represents your mood at this moment which one would you choose One color that represents your mood. What is mood, guys? What is mood? How can I feel? Right, the style of the animal, right? So how you feel. If you have to choose one, how, which one would you choose? Or how do you relate it with your life? The color black. <laughs> because I'm tired. <laughs> because I'm confused. Wow. Because I need, I'm confused. I need, I, I, I need see uh, black. O sea, necesito ver todo negro para descansar. <laughs> to rest. No, white. White. Huh? white. White, white. I don't know. It's a peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. Okay. Yes. Maybe okay. it's a peace represent peace, calmness, tranquilidad, ok. Vaya, ¿por qué hago esto? Nada más quisiera que usted vaya empezando a crear sus ideas y no le dé miedo a, a crearlas, ¿verdad? Al principio dije que no, que quiero que evitemos as much as possible el español, ¿verdad? Así que de repente voy trayendo actividades así, pero quiero que usted participe, si se equivoca, it's ok. It's totally okay. Okay, no problem. So, um, well, let's continue because we have, you know, uh, still a lot of things to do. And I don't want to share the, this one, but then this is what it is here. Okay, look at, um, I, I mean, I don't want to share it because it's a mistake, but we're, gonna, we're going to report this, okay? And then uh, we have um, these sentences right here. I want you to help me to complete them, please. So we have the company, and then we have here one verb, and then we have a complement. So we need to use either have to, okay, with the words that are provided. So how do we make it correctly? Take uh, five minutes, guys, and complete these sentences. Use the information uh, by pile up, not sign, design, not work. So let's work on that. Vamos a crear esas oraciones. Using have to. Probably que tengamos que usar negative. Go ahead, please. The company doesn't have to uh, have to buy new material. No. The company, if you want to make it negative, even the verb in here is not in negative. The, so the company doesn't have to, have to mm -hmm. buy new material. And if you stick to the um, what to the form here, it's not negative. So how do you say it? And if you say doesn't, it's okay, grammatically speaking. But then if we use the information in the parentheses, how do we say it? Because there's not a not in here. So what do we say in affirmative? What do we say? The company. The company. The new material. The company. I'm sorry. Has to. Has to. Okay. The company has to. Mm -hmm. Buy new material. New material. Yes. Let's continue with the next one. Let's take three more minutes. When you finish, please let me know the chat.
Okay, when you finish, please let me know. If you finish, just uh, send a message on the on the chat that you finished. Okay, Tenio, thank you so much for confirming. Let's take one more minute. Finish. Thank you, JC. Cristina, did you finish? Rafa, finished? Not yet? Okay. No, sure. All right, no problem. Take one more minute. Okay, let's start sharing. I think it's, it's the time is okay. Um, well, let's see. Number one, I need a volunteer to read it once again. I think it was already said, but it's okay to review it. So who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Number one, Elsie, would you like to try? Le gustaría tratar leer the first one? Okay, the company has to buy new new material okay yes the company has to buy new material number two let's see uh judy number two okay your parents have to buy our container okay your parents have to pile up the containers yes have to is because his parents is they therefore por lo tanto we use have have to pile up the containers yes number three uh, let's Peter, see one question mm -hmm. is the tra traduction of pile up mm -hmm. what is the translation of pile up, pile up mm -hmm. uh, 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 exactly Pile up. Like a hacer como una no sé, solo let's say pile up good what about number three let's see norma what is number three the agents the agents don't have to sign the letter good Yes, don't have to because it's the agent, it's they. What about number four? Let's see. Uh, number four, JC, please. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Okay. Mr. Bonilla has to design new uh, models. Okay, good, good. And the last one we have Narciso. 
the group. The, the group, the group. Does not work <laughs> into late. Mm -hmm. So in this case, yes, I would say that is correct because the group, eso se consideran, guys, un collective nouns y group entra en esos y eso es doesn't. Se, se toma como tercera persona, aunque haga referencia a un grupo, pero es doesn't. Es un nombre colectivo, es doesn't. Ok, the group doesn't have to work uh, until late. Good, let me, uh, so that would, that's going to be the correct answer. So let me share them with you guys. Okay, here we go. All right. So, uh, well, we have finished this part and the last activity for today is the one that I like the most because now it's for you to practice, okay? And we are going to work on that right now. I'm going to give you some time for you to prepare and it's time for us to create conversations, okay? And um, it says in here in like in pairs with a partner, and then you're going to imagine that one of you is new there. So you have to give instructions about how to use some things um, or how some things must be done or how to be done, but then you need to switch roles. As you can see here, they give you one uh, possible structure. Okay, that you can use, but this is just the general idea, but you can, of course, make it your own. You can personalize it. And this is, uh, you know, just an idea. Hello. And then you want to say whatever you want to add. Okay. Hello, Mr. Peña. Okay. I don't know why. You... Oh, good morning. Uh, welcome. Hi, how are you? And you can, you know, have or have this conversation and make it your own. And then you want to start giving instructions to your partner, okay? As if that person is new in the company. And then you have to keep going and then you think about how to close it. Maybe you wanna say, thank you for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Uh, see you tomorrow or, or see you uh, later. And I don't know, it was a pleasure. You decide how to close it. But then I'm gonna give you some time. Maybe I'm going, I don't know. I, I'm thinking about creating groups of three. Maybe that's gonna help a little bit so you can start mixing ideas and yeah. I think it's going to be groups of three. And then, um, so you can help each other. But create these conversations, guys. I'm going to give you exactly like 10 minutes the most. But please take advantage of the time and create a conversation. The purpose is to use, have to, don't have to, because you're talking to a person, okay? And this is the scenario. Do you have questions about what we are going to do? ¿Tienen preguntas de qué lo de qué vamos a hacer? No. No? Yes. Okay. ¿Me puedes repetir pero en español, por favor? Uh -huh. Vamos a crear una conversación simulando, es un juego de roles, en primer lugar, donde imaginémonos de que uno de los dos que van a estar trabajando, van, uno es nuevo y uno le va a dar instrucciones al otro de cómo las cosas tienen que ser hechas en la compañía, por ejemplo. Okay. Y ahí empezamos la conversación, utilizando esa estructura. Vaya, aquí están estas cosas. Aquí nosotros venimos temprano. ¿verdad? Tenés que venir temprano. Tenés que eh, saludar. O sea, ahí usted sabrá qué cosas tiene que decirle a su compañero, qué tiene que hacer en la, en la compañía. Luego que hacen el, el, el saludo y, y hacen el desarrollo de la actividad, al final se despiden. ¿Verdad? Ustedes deciden cómo se despiden. Y y después hacemos el switch, cambiamos roles. Voy a crear grupos de tres para que se, se ayuden, pero si la quieren hacer la conversación entre tres, está bien, si no hagan parejas y luego ahí deciden cómo se, se asignan los, los roles. Aunque okay, eso vamos a realizar, tendrán un espacio de hora, ya tenemos unos 7 o 8 minutos aproximadamente para crear esto. Cualquier pregunta, levanten la mano, ahí también yo voy a auxiliarles. Ok, here we go. Let's see. Groups of, okay. Algunos van a caer en parejas. Uno van a caer en tres. Here we go. Let me see. 
Vamos a hacer algún cambio. Déjenme hacer. Ok. Ahí estamos listos ya. Here we go. recordatorio, pero quizás para que ya no se pierda lo podemos hacer similar a como está aquí, darle un pequeño ejemplo a nosotros, a ver si hay cualquier duda, nos la hace saber, ¿le parece? ¿O quieren intentar ustedes hacer, hacer uno? A ver, eh... sí, ¿por qué no? Luego, ¿cómo agregaríamos el otro? You have to. Está ahí, ¿va? Uh -huh. the, other, the other activity is how say receive the, the new uniform, recibir el nuevo uniforme después del entrenamiento. And this is the second. And the second activity. Oh, no, sería the next, the next activity. Ah, ok. La siguiente actividad, uh -huh, the next activity.
Asistente. Narciso. Asistente de, uh, de Marlene. <risa> <risa> Le voy a andar llevando las, las cosas bueno. de limpieza. ¿eh? <risa> Narciso. No. <risa> what do you want to work? No, I want to you. What do you want to make make to work in the in the work? ¿Qué quieres hacer en su trabajo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, lo podemos hacer. Narciso has to send the report. Uh, at 7 a.m. Okay, Narciso, ¿qué dice Narciso? Okay. Okay, where... Okay. Okay. Ya que ustedes me den a mí la lista de de actividades. Las instrucciones. De actividad. Uh -huh. <ríe> ok. Sí. Ok. Are we ready? Ay, Not yet. Teacher. <ríe> Not yet. <ríe> más o menos. Sí, <ríe> sí, más o menos. Ok, porque ya estaba viendo los demás grupos y casi se nos terminó el tiempo. ¿Cómo va? Sorry. Bastante bien, teacher. Solo Bye. le estamos dando Bye. ahí Bye. Las, las, Bye. las últimas ideas. Nítido, nítido, nítido. Ok, good. See you in a minute. Did you finish, Marlene? No. Yes? Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Judy, did you finish? Daniel, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Nice. JC, were you able to finish? Were you able to finish? Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Casi, casi, teacher. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Um, so I'm going to check the attendance, guys, because it's like two minutes to, to 10, two to 10. And tomorrow we're going to start sharing.
So, make sure to... is Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> We don't study extra time. Oh, I know, I know that. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was Tuesday, you know. I Eso me va a confundir. It's a confused in right. my week. Your weekend, <laughs> I imagine. Okay, yes. Then on then Monday, on we Monday. are going to Monday. share. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check the attendance, Wait. guys. Okay, let me check the attendance, guys. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening with echo. Someone echo. how to speak from home. Okay, yes. I'm listening. Uh, El mic on. Okay. Silence, que no hago. Ah, well, I can do that. Okay, so the attendance. Uh, Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Daniel. Thank you, Elsie. Present. Thank you, Gabriela. Herson. Present. Thank you, Jose Miguel. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Rubén. Linda. JC. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maria Idalia. Present. Okay, Maria Julia. No, Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Uh, Raquel. Ray. Xiomara. Judy. Okay, Present. so. So thank you so much, Judy. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your weekend, complete and to or do the homework and see you on Monday. Okay. Try to rest as much as possible and be, Bye, teacher. be good students. <laughs> Study. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. See you Monday. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Cristina me abandonó, dije yo, se fue, se marchitó. ¿Qué tal, Cristina? Cristina, ¿me escucha? Hola. Hola, Cristina, ¿me escucha? Hola, Cristina. Hello. No me escucha. Hable usted. Yo no le escucho tampoco. No. Ah, increíble. Este no me escucha, ni le escucho. Ponga mute, por favor.
¿Ahora? Hoy sí. Hoy sí. sí. Y a saber qué había pasado usted. Vamos a ver, se, se puso en silencio. Sí, me imagino. Bueno, ahora sí ya. Es, cuénteme, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se ha sentido? ¿Qué tal las clases? ¿Qué preguntas tiene? Pues... Bueno, ayer y aún así he entendido un poco. Solo que siempre hay palabras que todavía no las entiendo, no las comprendo. Entonces ahí es donde me trago y no, no, no sé qué. Y ahí me cuesta responder. Sí, esas palabras lo que hay que hacer, Cristina, es que en primer lugar hay que sacarlas como vocabulario, porque siempre va a encontrar palabras nuevas, siempre. Incluso a veces uno leyendo un libro que para, aparenta ser básico, hay palabras que no las conocemos. Entonces, sí que siempre como recomendación es ir sacando la lista de vocabulario, irlas aprendiendo y por supuesto preguntar, ¿verdad? Si, si estamos en clase, pregunte. ¿Tiene algunas, sí. algún comentario, alguna... Este, pregunta pues eh, que era lo que le iba a preguntar Se me, ah, con lo de ahora uh -huh. eh, usted dijo que el has se ocupa nada más en negativo cuando se usa I you Way day. Uh -huh. El have, el negativo, mmm, vaya, si se usa el don't have to o se usa doesn't have to, o sea, siempre se utiliza cualquiera de los dos. Pero, Pero en have, ¿eh? Ajá, siempre no con has. have. Exacto, siempre have, no has. Es, es que que el libro... me había confundido un poquito. Sí, es que el libro tiene ahí ese detalle, lo vamos a, vamos a hacer la observación, porque el libro dice has y es have, el verbo siempre va a ser have, no, siempre que usamos un auxiliar no, no se ve afectado, o sea que el verbo siempre se usa en forma base, no usamos has. Pero cuando es en negativo, ¿verdad? En negativo, exactamente. Uh -huh. no, y, en, son... y el have y el has... Cuando no estamos hablando en negativo. Exacto, exactamente. Exactamente. Ah, has para. Pero, pero el has es para she, he, he, it. Uh -huh, it uh -huh. ah, y el have solo cuando es I, you, we, they. We, they, exactamente. Exacto. Así es, Cristina. Ahí me había confundido un poquito ahora porque dije, no, 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 no estoy entendiendo bien ahorita qué está diciendo, pero después le voy a preguntar, pero empecé a ver, va. Uh -huh. Empecé a, a, a comparar con las oraciones y lo que estaban haciendo ahí. Uh -huh. Y entonces ahí cuando medio capté, entonces, pero lo voy a preguntar a él después uh -huh. porque no, no, para que me deje bien claro eso. Sí, así, así funciona y y ahora que ya sabe la estructura, mi sugerencia es primero ir a, en la plataforma, completar los ejercicios, luego ponerse a escribir, Cristina, haga sus oraciones, la, no una, ni dos, ni tres, haga un montón de oraciones, piense en, en qué escenario podría utilizarlo, en el trabajo, en la casa, no sé, en, en la universidad o con sus amigos, siempre hay un montón de escenarios donde podemos hacer. Teacher, ¿y cómo puedo dejar de pensar, de, de traducir? Vaya, Porque siempre eh, eh. se me viene a la mente, quiero decir esto, pero ¿cómo lo traduzco en inglés o cómo lo traduzco en español? Es lo que me está diciendo. Fíjense que dos, dos cosas. En primer lugar, este, la gramática español y de, e inglés. El problema es este, que usa diferente estructura. Por eso que cuando queremos traducir de español a inglés, algunas veces no encontramos la manera de decirlo. Bien, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Este, si yo digo, vaya, ¿cómo diríamos? Uh, comemos tortillas, en, comemos pupusas en la cena. ¿Cómo diría usted eso, comemos pupusas en la cena? We eat. Uh, pupusas en the dinner. Exacto, usted tiene la idea, eso es excelente, porque cuando yo le digo alguna pregunta como es a alguien, ¿y 
¿qué, ¿qué digo? ¿Qué digo? Porque no, no tienen la claridad, como usted la tiene ahorita, de que ahí necesito decir, güey, porque es, es nosotros. Nunca dije nosotros comemos, o sea, simplemente dije comemos, porque en, en inglés siempre requiere la estructura gramatical que hemos estudiado, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Ya el, el tiempo del verbo se determina si es negativo, si es positivo, o si usamos will o going to, o si usamos el pasado, usamos didn't, no usamos doesn't. Entonces el verbo es el que se ve modificado, pero en sí la estructura no cambia. Entonces eso lo veo bien fácil, lo, lo hizo muy fácil usted, o sea que está comprendiendo que el inglés es ordenado más que el español. El español a veces habla, mire, le puedo decir uh, yo voy a comer pupusas siempre yo siempre voy a comer pupusas ¿Sí? yo eh, pupusas como siempre siento que puedo hacer un montón de cambios y suena bien pero en inglés no nos permite hacer tantos cambios en la oración esa es una de las cosas por la que poco a poco usted va a ir comprendiendo de que dejar de pensar en, en español es cuestión de práctica porque usted ya de repente no va a tener que estar traduciendo en la mente. Para usted ir a comer pupusas es go to eat pupusas. Ya no necesita decirlo en español porque esa acción de go to eat pupusas es la acción que, que describe a ese evento. Entonces, para dejar de pensar en español, tenemos que tener primeramente mucho vocabulario ya en la mente que nos permita utilizarlo en el momento que necesite ser utilizado en el contexto y en el escenario que se requiera ser utilizado. El problema, Cristina, es que si no tenemos todo ese vocabulario, entonces vamos a empezar a buscar una palabra para decirlo. Entonces, ahí es donde usted se puede frustrar. Y como entonces, ahí el punto es, ahorita su reto debería ser Conocer bastante vocabulario, expresiones y aprendérselas, utilizarlas. Ese sería el reto. Sí. Y después va a ver cómo se le va haciendo más fácil. Mi problema es, ¿sabe cuál es mi problema? Cuando yo me frustro, cuando me cuesta retener. A mí me cuesta memorizar y trato y trato y trato, trato. O sea, puedo leerlo y como que si yo tengo como... Memoria fotográfica, veo cómo es la estructura y se me queda. Pero cuando es de aprender, yo leo y, y, y re, repite y repite para, para que se me quede. A mí eso me cuesta. Y cuando ah, estoy aprendiendo ah, y estoy, y, y estoy este, queriendo memorizar, a mí me da sueño. Pero usted acaba de decir algo bien importante. Acaba de decir que usted considera que es una persona visual. Así me acaba de decir. Entonces, sí. ayúdese de esa manera. Entonces, haga algo que le puede asociar los, las cosas con lo que está a su alrededor. Si usted considera que haciendo un dibujito y le va a ayudar a recordar, hágalo. Así le digo, eso le va a ayudar porque, porque tiene que ayudarse, tiene que estimular la manera que usted aprende. Y ya que conoce esa parte de que es más visual y quiere ver las cosas, entonces cree esas cosas. Cree los, el instrumento que le va a permitir recordar recordar o asociar los, los, las cosas con, ¿no? con los significados, con los contenidos. Así que ayúdense de esa manera y al momento no se frustre. No se frustre ahorita en su momento. No, yo, yo les digo lo siguiente. Yo he visto casos este, trabajados de hace un ratito. Yo comencé a trabajar cuando tenía 19 años. Ya tengo 31. Entonces, tengo un ratito de ver. He ido aprendiendo junto, fíjense, con todos mis estudiantes. Pero he visto casos que así, con esa frustración. Y de repente, pues después de un par de años, bien chivo hablan inglés. Entonces, pero yo les digo, mire, no se frustre. Téngase paciencia. Pero sí, no deje de estudiar disciplínese todos los días lo que, algo hago, nuevo. Lo, que, lo que hago más porque a mí las canciones uh -huh. si se me quedan Bye. rapidito yo escucho una canción y se me queda pero a la hora de, de escuchar una canción en inglés yo trato de ver la letra ¿va? Uh -huh. la letra cuando la veo en, en inglés y cuando la asimilo con la canción ahí es donde me cuesta porque eh, la pronunciación y el escucharlo en otra persona Ahí es donde me, 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 me cuesta. Pero trato de escuchar más música en inglés porque siento que se me va a hacer más fácil. Vaya. Ahí tiene otro tip. Sí, se los está dando. 
ahí tiene, se tiene la respuesta. Entonces, tenga la claridad de ya usted se, se conoce bien, entonces sigue simulando esas maneras de que usted siente que se le hace fácil, porque cualquiera le va a decir, escuche música, este, que haga tal cosa, pero en realidad la que decide cómo se va a autoayudar es usted, y lógicamente, ¿verdad? Son cosas que vienen a abonar a su, a su, a su léxico, a su aprendizaje, así que cualquier cosa también si le podemos ayudar, que si no estamos a la orden en lo que sea posible. Y no se desanime, gracias. pues hay que echarle ganas. Sí, <ríe> y, gracias. Y descanse. <ríe> Try to rest. Vaya, pues cuídese. Feliz noche. Feliz Nos noche. vemos el lunes. Bueno, primero Dios. Bye bye.